Hello, my name is Ben Johnson. I am a teaching artist at the New Victory Theatre and I want to welcome you to Magic Week uh, where we're going to take a look at all things magical. But before we do that, uh, it's important that we all agree to be magicians of. That's right. That's the sound of someone not agreeing to the magician's oath off there and off camera. <laughs> so uh, we can't teach you any magic tricks until you say the oath. So I'm going to ask my uh, fantastic assistant to come and join us here uh, to, to read the oath. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have a seat. So here on this ancient parchment, I have written the magician's oath. I'm going to read it and then I'd like you uh, famous, fantastic assistant, to repeat the, the oath. And then you there at home can repeat it along with her. Great. So, <clears throat> the magician's oath. I, insert your name here. I, Sonia. A magician. A magician. Do officially, solemnly, and with the utmost seriousness. Do officially, solemnly, and with the utmost seriousness. Stand by the magician's oath. Stand by the magician's oath. Mm. Number one, I promise. I promise. Never to reveal. Never to reveal. The secret of any magic trick. The secret of any magic trick. To a non-magician. To a non-magician. Number two, I promise. I promise. Never to perform. Never perform. To perform any magic trick, any magic trick for a non magician, for a non magician, without first practi practicing it, without f first practicing it, until I can maintain the illusion of the trick, until I can m maintain the illusion of the trick. Number three, I promise. I promise. Never to ask. Never to ask. A magician how their illusion was done. A magician how their illusion was done. Thus honoring. Thus honoring. The practice and tradition. The practice and tradition. <laughs> of the art form. Of the art form. Thank you very much, assistant. So that, my friends, is the magician's oath. And now that you have repeated uh, the magician's oath, you're ready to learn uh, some magic tricks, uh, some illusions, as they say. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you uh, a magic trick that involves a deck of cards. So what you're going to need is uh, just a normal, everyday set of playing cards. Uh, and uh, no tricks, no bless you. <laughs> but that's all you need is this deck. Uh, after I show you the trick, I'm going to show you how to do it. Sound good? Great. Uh, for this trick, I'm going to have to ask my assistant to return to the stage. Uh, assistant, come on back. You seem different from before. All right, assistant. This is the giggly assistant. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, assistant and uh, also everyone there at home, this is a normal deck of uh, playing cards. There's no, there's no tricks here. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this deck, and I'm going to fan through it like this. And when we get to the card that you want to be yours, you're going to say, stop, and I'm going to stop. And I'm going to give you that card. Got it? Okay. So first step is I'm going to fan through the cards, and you're going to say stop when you want me to stop. All right? That one? That's the one you want. Okay. Take your card. Don't show it to me. Take a look at it. And now go show it uh, to the camera so that they can see it at home. You might have to back up a little bit. Great. Now come back and don't show it to me and put it face down on the desk right here. Now, I want you to get a clear picture in your mind of that card, whatever that card is. Could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Queen, King, Ace, could be any one of the four suits. I want you to imagine it floating in front of you, right here. It's floating in the air. Get a clear picture in your mind. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that card and turn it over and tell you that it is the Five of Diamonds. The Five of Diamonds, I just challenged. 
Thank you very much, sister. You did a fantastic job. <laughs> All right. So, the trick itself. When you're learning to do any kind of magic trick, you want to think about it in two different parts. You want to think about the mechanics of the trick, how it's actually done, and then you want to think about the performance or the presentation of the trick. Now, the mechanics of this trick are pretty straightforward. You're going to hold the deck of cards in your hand like this, and the grip is important. You're going to want to use these three fingers to hold the top card in place. You're going to use your thumb to do the rifling through, and then your index finger is going to hold the, card, the deck in place from the back. So what you're doing is you're gripping this top card because when the person says stop, their intention is to get this card. What you're going to do is you're going to pull away all the cards and then these three fingers are going to hold the top card in place. So this is the card they picked and this is the card that you're going to give them. So when they pull that card out, they'll say nine of clubs. Now you might be asking yourself, how am I gonna know that this is the nine of clubs? Well, at the start of the trick, you show them the deck and you turn it upside down. And you say, you see, these are all uh, normal cards. There's no tricks here. And what you're doing while you're doing this is you're taking a peek at what the top card is, the nine of clubs. So that now I know this is the nine of clubs. I get my grip in place, rifle through, they say stop, and then I hand them the nine of clubs. That's the mechanics, the mechanics of the trick. Now, the presentation of the trick is just about all the stuff that you put around the mechanics, right? So it's the, it's the things that you say before the trick and during the trick and after the trick. Any sort of um, uh, embellishment that you put uh, that sort of creates a world around the trick. So, for example, one thing that I did uh, after my fantastic assistant pulled the card, thank you very much, is that I asked her to imagine the card floating in the air right in front of her. And then I grabbed the imaginary card out of the air and I turned the imaginary card over and I pretended to read it. And in my mind, I already know what the card is. So that is an example of the presentation that can allow you to take a, a little bit of sleight of hand and turn it into uh, a presentation. Uh, you know, one last thing I wanna say about the, the, the presentation of the trick is, it's, it's got the word trick in it, but I think it's a good idea not to think about it like you're tricking someone. You wanna think about it like you're sharing something amazing with them. So it's not about you kind of like, you know, playing a trick on someone else, it's about you sharing uh, a, a really exciting, amazing uh, thing, skill with, uh, with the person that you're performing for. So uh, we hope that you guys really enjoy uh, Magic Week and uh, hope you guys do a whole lot of great illusions for your family and your friends. See ya.